Blessings be upon this creature of salt. What was the first peace movement in history? Well, it wasn't CND. Who made conservation so fashionable in 1989? BC. Which religion had women priests? Long before the Church of England thought of it. Who first discovered the true nature of human sexuality? It was someone much older than Freud. Wicca and paganism. Blessed be. There are forces that control our lives. Don't be superstitious. Open up to them, just as our pagan ancestors did. To many pagans, the god is like the sun, giving fertility to the world. At the end of each year, he dies and is reborn in the spring. The moon controls many mysteries, the tides, women's menstrual cycles. It's just like our human lifespans, like the moon we go from birth to adulthood to old age and death. The goddess is like the moon. She has three phases, maiden, mother, and crone. Unlike the sun, she is everlasting. Creation was born in her womb. She's our mother. Each one of us has the god and goddess inside of us. We are not just male or female. We have both deep within ourselves. You can use your psyche and the forces to control your life. Use your power of clairvoyance to see into the future. Use magic to make things happen. Use your powers to live in harmony with nature. Use your powers to be a stronger person. Use your powers to be a positive force in today's society. Paganism allows you the chance to actually look deep inside yourself, whereas other religious faiths, they don't allow this at all. Well, whatever tradition you're following, whether it's the Wiccan tradition or shamanism or whatever, what these rituals enable you to do is to, to cross to higher planes. And anything that is performed or changed on these planes will in turn reflect on the, the real world. And everyone is capable of um, being able to channel this power, whether they do it for changing their destiny or whether they use it for prediction or you know, divination of any sort. Why do you call yourself a Celt? The Celts were, were and are the biggest genetic influence on our lives and the way we live today and in the past. What's the difference between a Celt and um, a Pagan? Or there aren't any fundamental differences. Um, a Pagan is technically a non-believer in Christ. Um, the Celts, 
later on in their development were Christian. Um, so um, people who call themselves Celtic witches or Wiccans now are pagan. So how does the word Wicca come into this, though? Wicca is a general. Uh, I take Wicca as a general term to cover. Um, the worshippers of the Earth Goddess. So that includes you then? Yeah. So you are generally So does that exclude worship? black people from your religion? No. But they're but not Celtic or are No, they? but then there are other Earth Goddess mysteries uh, associated with black people. Can you explain this Earth Goddess, please? Um, what we walk on, what we live on, everything we need to survive comes from the Earth. Uh, so the Earth is the womb, therefore the mother. So is your, is your religion a worship of nature then? Yes. Can I ask what relevance your particular form of um, Celtic paganism or whatever has, has on sort of urban societies, so the inner cities for people who are living in ca council blocks? It gives them the ability to get back in contact with themselves, to, ta to reach the inner self that's probably missing from their life. And, and why does uh, ordinary religions that we have, or popular religions that we have now, why does that not do that? I'm not saying it doesn't. Um, if Christianity or um, Buddhism answers that need and it gives you the ability to look within yourself, then that is right for you. Which so it depends would... on what you need yourself. So then Are you heard... anti-Christian? No. What do you think of Christianity? Uh, it's a feasible religion uh, which, been, which has been misunderstood. What is the difference between Satanism and Paganism? Satanism is uh, a Christian religion. Uh, and Satan mean? is the opposite of God. Mm. Paganism is a Christian religion? No, Satanism. Oh, sorry, right. Um, we don't recognise an evil God. Do you believe oh, right. in the devil? No. What's your attitude towards Satan. Satanists and stuff? They need as much help as they can possibly get. How can you, how can you say that Satanism is a Christian religion when it is because absolutely... Satan Diametrically opposed. Without God, the Christian God, there couldn't be a Satanism because they invented it. So you're just saying that Satanism, therefore, is just a Christian sort of heresy? Yeah. Somebody who's out to get Christians? Not necessarily out to get them, because they also must recognise God to be Satanists. Right, so therefore they're... They're you know, a parallel... <laughs> total yeah. opposite. Yeah. Do you, do you think you, it's bad to uh, set up systems of rules as to what you do with, with somebody who does one offence or another? Within paganism and Wicca, you mean? Yeah. Um, you set, you, and also within life, I mean. You, you need to have rules, but they're your own rules. Um, that sounds very anarchic. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I just, There's it's, lots of anarchists in, yeah. in, in, in uh, paganism. Is there really? It's a very anarchic religion. Yes. Anarchic so there are a lot of anarchists within, yes. within paganism. Yes. Um, uh, and what form does this anarchy take? I mean, because. <laughs> You'd have to ask an anarchist. Can you use um, your powers to say to try and change things politically, like get Maggie out or something? <laughs> Can you do a spell and try and get Maggie out? You could do. Uh, it's not something I would do because it's the misuse of power. Just um, you wouldn't so use your powers. There's the legend that the witches gathered in the forest and repelled Hitler during the Second World War. Can, can I ask you yeah, a question sorry, about candle you? magic? I'm sorry, I wanted to hear that. Sorry. Well, there's a legend that uh, when the, the Hitler was on the brink of uh, invading Britain, that um, a witch's coven got together in a forest on the south coast and did a ritual to stop him. No. Uh, and, believe it or not, he didn't do it. So, <laughs> are you attributing <laughs> 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 no, you, to No, you've got to take it. No, not at all, but I'm taking into consideration that they did that, the Air Force defeated him. It's just a contributing factor. Can you tell me what shamanism is, please? Shamanism is uh, normally uh, one person working on his own, very, very connected to nature, um, who, again, is a, a nature worshipper. Yes, but don't they sacrifice animals? They have done in the past. But don't do they, they sacrifice do them now? Uh, times are changing. Um, there are different ways of raising power. But in your, Sacrificing yeah. animals does raise power. But they're but in your you you have to, but sorry, sorry. You, have to, you have to develop within the laws that are around at the time and within social conscience. Um, but people are still, people who live in villages and tamers, they find skinned dogs, mm. etc. Animals are being sacrificed. There's this emphasis on the sacredness of life. Yeah. Well, 
not everybody agrees with me. In, in, the, in the video, me. sorry, in the video that's introducing this program, um, I think it's the fields of the Nephilim. Yeah. Uh, there's a man sort of strung up on what seems to be some sort of some kind of cross or whatever like that, mm -hmm. with a, a chicken killed and then scraped along the man's chest. I mean, is that not? Are you saying now that that's the wrong idea of? of Wicca? That's a video for a, a pop song, but um, but that's, that's not an aspect of Wicca. What do you think? Of that, that, is that, that is an aspect of shamanism, though, isn't it? The sacrifice of animals. So. That's a, a previous. The, the shamanism that exists in this country, that's an aspect of... So could you, could you explain to me then the significance of having this chicken sort of dragged across this guy's chest with all the blood and stuff? Um, it's very difficult. It's not something that I would do or I would look into. Um, what is the power that's raised by sacrificing animals? What do people do with that power? The power, when it's raised, can be used for a number of things. It can be used for healing, it can be used for... Um, spell making. What um, sort of spells? To do what? Within reason, whatever's required. Can you tell me something about the, uh, the hanging man in that video? Because that seems to, to be linked with a lot of other um, ideas in other religions, like, for example, Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. your dying and rising God in, in your religion. Um, can you tell me why that, that's such a recurring. Jesus thing? Christ is another sun god, he's another name for the sun god. He has his equivalent in every religion. So you have. And it has the equivalent thing occurs within that religion. Within my own, within my own belief, it occurs where the sun god is sacrificed. Where, where is he? Where but is you your... don't say that Jesus Christ is your sun god, do you? He's not my sun god, no. What no, do you so think I mean... of rock groups um, who play on Wicca and paganism? Do you think it's good or do you um, think they give it a bad image? It needs a public image. Yeah. It does need a public image. And as long as that image isn't perverted, um, but don't you think the video was earlier on? I mean, I thought Seems it was perverted. Bit, yeah. you know, what do you mean by perverted now? You said that with your paganism, that it was just an indiv what the individual felt themselves. Mm -hmm. Now, if this guy who decides to hang himself up and scrape chickens across him or whatever, that is what he feels and that is his pagan religion, is it not? Right. Yeah, but you still have to act within social... Yeah, the social conscience is around you. So, social, but so if, if your social conscience, right? If you're around with, if you just live among pagans, is that acceptable? I wouldn't say so. No. So what is, say the role, what is the role? What is the role? All life, all life is sacred, and taking of life is wrong. Who says? Where does this come from? From within me. From within you. So you've got no so moral or doct doctrinal um, guidelines at all. No, there is no. Holy book. So where do you get your where do you get your um, ideas from? Where do you get your guidelines, your morale? Um, your, morality, your morale morality, has right. to be judged by, as I said, the laws and the social conscience of what's going on around you. What is the status of women in Wicca or paganism? Uh, within my own group, it's as equals to men. In other groups, they are treated as higher than men. Why is that? Why are they treated higher? Yeah. They are seen as the um, ultimate source of all mankind mm. and therefore given a higher status. Surely you need men as well yeah. as women. Exactly. And but why, why do you have all this, this, this triple goddess and dual god? Well, the triple goddess is, the th uh, is seen as three distinct aspects of the goddess. She moves through other faiths as well, but they're, they're seen as the three distinct ones where she's a maiden, a mother and a crow. Uh, the double god is uh, a seasonal thing. It's uh, a winter god and a summer god. Uh, when, the, when the summer god dies, uh, the winter god takes over. And for the, for the dark months, the winter months, he rules until the summer comes again. Can what, again does, what part does sex play in your rituals? Uh, it's a fertility uh, religion and therefore plays a part. Yeah, but does that mean you actually have sex during the rituals or symbolic? Groups do both. Do both. What do you Can do? You? What did you what both. do you do? You do both. You actually have sex within your ritual. Yep. Uh, is this partners or just anybody? No, it's uh, partners. So, girlfriend, boyfriend, man, wife, that yep. sort of thing. We can you, can start, you um, explain to me what the great rite is then? <clears throat> great rite is the union of the god and the goddess as personified by two people within the group. So what do the, what do the people that are enacting that actually do then? They take on the role of the god and the goddess. Mm -hmm. And uh, the act of sex is seen as 
the union of the two. Just done in privacy, or is this sort of done in front of the rest of the people, uh, or in your, in your privacy, particular general growth? Privacy. General Are there any times yeah. when it's not? No. Oh, Do you use contraception during this act? Yes. Do children ever witness this act? No. Why not? Um, we don't want to influence anybody who's of an influenceable age. A child is accepted at birth, or very soon after birth, and is welcomed into the world as part of a ritual. From that point until uh, it's agreed that that child is able to make his own decisions in life. What then, role, sorry, what role do, um, do drugs play in the rituals? They don't play any part. Can you tell me what roles drugs play in shamanism? Uh, a shaman, I'm not saying this is what happens to all shamans, a shaman will use natural botanics to achieve states of higher consciousness. I mean, Surely you do, so do, do you trust these... Use of drugs, yeah. No. But can you, can you, if these people are sort of under the influence of drugs, can you trust their, their revelations or their transcendent states? Um, they don't abuse what they're doing. They don't go over the top with so it. So where's the criteria? Where's, where's they, the dividing line between abuse and non-abuse? That's for the shaman. That's part of the skill of the shaman. So again, it's totally up to individual interpretation what you do. Um, you always have to judge what you're doing. You have to be very careful about the way you judge it and you have to be honest with yourself. But the shaman will have looked within himself and um, hopefully be a full person and be able to be honest with himself because that's one of the major so you, things with... You judge yourselves, your gods don't judge you. No, well the gods, the gods are um, higher aspects of yourself. What characteristics, I'm sorry, what characteristics these gods have? I mean, are they angry sometimes? Well, the gods are whole times? people. They're, uh, there's not a good god. Um, they're whole people. How can they be aspects of yourself what? if they're whole people? They, by whole people, it, I interpret that as separate identities, but how can they be sort of extensions of you if you're separate identities? Um, through, <laughs> it's a, a matter of translation, really. Um, higher aspects of yourself. If you consider that the sun is a god, then you give that god a personality. Mm -hmm. um, you can go ahead and say, yes, he's a, I worship the sun god, but it's a lot easier to uh, use if you give that, that a personality and a figure that's recognisable. So, 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 so you're just giving natural elements personalities for the, sort of like, for the sake of sort of relating to them? It's a lot easier to relate to them, yeah, it's not... Do they actually have power, then? Do they have power to do, they they power to they do, do anything? Um, the, the, the god forms that are, uh, we use have been around for a long time. Through use and understanding within your subconscious, they do build up their own personality. And you said, and you said to me earlier that they talk to you. Yeah. So they have got personalities. Yeah. Then. So it's not just you giving them yeah. a personality. Oh, no. What about what you call, like, black magic and white magic? Why is black magic evil and why is white magic good? Because that doesn't make sense to me at all. We don't use those definitions. Yeah, We're good. Good. Um, general definitions. General like definitions. Like. Magic is neutral. Magic is there. Mm. It's the people that use it that decide whether it's black or white. Um, by, by your own personality, um, most people would practice grey magic because we're whole people. Um, Therefore, so people do use sorry. these powers for bad as well as good. They have been used. Me, yeah. From what I can, what what I can understand, if someone within your grove was using their powers for bad, what would you do about it? Counteract it and get rid of them. What What's would, the or, 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 or try to, to or try no, But to that person may think that this is good. If yeah, you say it's all individual. If he says, I say, you know, what you term maybe black magic or white magic isn't what he necessarily or she necessarily terms black magic or white magic. The thing it's being used for that has been is bad. Um, is bad. So what do you define who, as bad? Then? Because if this, if you define it as bad and he defines it as good, surely you're diametrically opposed to each other and you're just cancelling each other. And why is there this distinction between bad and evil? Um, we don't believe in evil. I don't believe in evil. What's the difference between surely you've got so, surely, you sorry, good? Surely you've got to experience bad yeah. right, and good to become a full person. Yeah. But surely the person that's doing bad is only progressing to becoming a full person. Yeah, and as I said, we would help that person through that. I'm not saying that um, he wouldn't do it in the first place. If he did it in the first place, then we would try to 
educate him away from that. Seems, but, yeah, but that's only but, education according to what you think is good. He might think it's good to do that. Sure, see. but... Um, do you know, I think to... it, it is a matter of definition, it is, I agree with you. So really there's no sort of, this is, this is what I find difficult to, to cope with within this, these sort of the Wicca and paganism and the rest of it, is that there's no, there doesn't seem to be any sort of distinction as to what is good and what is bad. Therefore you talk of a neutral power which can be used and misused. I mean, to me, if, if a this neutral power gets, is used by somebody who's bad, that can cause a heck of a lot of harm to somebody who didn't ask for it in the first place. That is very harmful and that is wrong, yes. In the same way that someone so there is, like... So there is wrong? Oh, yeah. Can I ask you about candle magic? Because in the mm -hmm. video that runs up to this particular discussion, there's, a, there's a, a video of you running your fingers up and down a candle. Yeah. Um, I mean, that, to me, looks well, quite ridiculous. And I find it hard to believe that you should expect anyone to take that seriously because of the way it looks. Candle magic is a very simple uh, ritual, um, which is quite... Let's say powerful. It's quite um, successful. You, all, you, all, you, all, you, all you, what, what I'm doing is instilling um, some of my own essence, some of my own power into that candle, which is burning. And as the candle burns, then the essence or energy I'm putting into it is actually used to produce the uh, desired effect. Is there a sexual you... element in that? I mean, because it looks like there should be one. <laughs> <laughs> Not specifically. What is the desired effect? That was that was actually a healing spell, which worked quite successfully. Very what? successfully. And what did, the, did the person who you were, or the, the thing or object that you were casting this healing spell on, know about it? They didn't. They didn't know about it. No. Nope. Um, do you think that you're controlling you put, destiny? Would, yeah. Don't you think you're controlling somebody's destiny by doing that? No, um, why not? Why all not? That, all of the actual specifics of that uh, ritual were to bring the person luck, health. <laughs> but what happens if the person yeah, doesn't want that? that? I wouldn't, well, I wouldn't fancy somebody that. doing all these spells and incantations. And surely the person should me. know. I was asked to do it for the person. Yes, by someone else. Yeah, Did, someone so you not think that you should take the, per, the person into consideration <clears throat> and um, ask him or her? The person wasn't in any state to consent anyway. They weren't. Well, so you have the right to impose your... This is your judgment. This is your judgment again. That is. That's in, in, that, again, this is your judgment. But you are imposing I your will. I didn't impose my will. I imposed... I asked for the assistance of uh, the Earth Goddess in the healing of that person. Was what, it successful? It wasn't my will. It was successful. What did he have? So what, yeah. yeah, what did he have and how uh, did he get killed? I won't be specific. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Why not? We don't believe you, like, I don't believe you, I think yeah. this is all hocus pocus sort of stuff. <laughs> and saying, oh yeah, this is a desired effect, okay, the desired effect worked, okay, great, well, call it a bad, the spell was... Why, why a candle, for you know, example? It just What's seems candle all made up. A candle is, is another ritual, there are lots of different rituals that are doing the same thing. That was a convenient ritual, it's easy, it's easy to explain, it's easily uh, to do. At the full moon, your natural passions are running at their highest. Um, you're able to do a lot more things with your own mind when the moon is full. So you sort of, as a Celt, you sort of open yourself up to these sort of things and try and flow with them? Yeah. So you've talked on. about, um, already you've talked about the Earth Goddess, you've talked about the moon. Um, can you explain to me these gods? There seem to be so many gods that it's already confusing me. Can you explain to me exactly what your gods technically, are? Technically, there is an earth goddess, uh, a moon goddess, and a sun god. Um, these are the three major deities. Um, they do have many names. They're virtually, uh, virtually all um, the equivalent of each other. Can you, can Sorry, you name so can you, can, you, can, you, can you be more specific than that? They're virtually all the same as each other. <laughs> What does they, that mean? They, because they're sun gods or earth goddesses, they share aspects. Aspects of what? Aspects of their personality and the way they behave. And, and how, many gods, how, many, how many gods and goddesses have you got then? Have I got? Well, yeah. I mean, do you worship? Um, well, I see all aspects of nature as having a deity. So you worship sort of a tree and a shrub and sort of lakes yeah. and ponds and... So it's yep. polytheistic then, lots and yep. lots of different what gods. What does specifically the sun god do? Or the sun god is, um, is the renewer, he's the fertiliser, if you like. <laughs> um, without him, there would be no light. Without him, there wouldn't be life. Uh, the earth would be barren. 
Why then does the god, the sun god, have to die at the end of each year? The sun god dying the, is um, a ritual act whereby the earth is renewed. Um, his body is taken into the earth to be reborn again. How do you know, sorry, I just want to get this clear. How do you know that your god exists? Has there ever been any divine revelation from your god? Uh, not in the Christian way. Uh, the God exists within me and therefore uh, is projected from me. You know, Can you I... were talking about sacredness of life and it's wrong to take life and stuff. Yep. I would assume from that that you were a vegetarian. Are yep. you? You are. Are all pagans vegetarians? Nope. Why, Why not? Well, doesn't that contradict with it? Um, sanctity of life. Uh, is in that aspect is self-defeating because uh, we have at a, a, a time in our history been meat eaters. Yeah, but and it's today become there's a, no need. A habit. There isn't. Uh, I mean, there's plenty of vegetables I wish to everybody eat today. Agreed. Yes. So, so I don't see why these pagans who think life is so sacred then go and eat, you know, cows and chickens and stuff. What a, can I ask about vegetable rights and stuff like that? Because it seems to me a lot of pagans are into vegetable rights, sort of like asking a plant before you pick it. Yeah, I mean, if, if it gives you permission, you can have it. If it doesn't give you permission, you can scratch it. We, we all believe that uh, all life has got a sentence to it. The tree um, has been a tree for a lot longer than man has been a man, and therefore we see it as being higher up the evolutionary scale than we are. You're telling you me that a tree is better than me? Because it's higher up the evolutionary scale? You tell me. Well, I'm asking you. <laughs> you tell me. Is a tree better than you? How do you judge what success is? Well, because a tree hasn't got a personality. A tree is, a tree a tree is successful. Says who? What are your views on abortion, then? Um, abortion is acceptable um, up to a point where the infant or fetus can exist by whatever means, outside of the room. But uh, that... So when it's attached to the mother and can't exist outside of the room, it's part of an individual, and yeah. it's that individual's choice whether that continues. But, I mean, I sort of think that sort of contradicts with your belief that life is sacred and everything. Life, life, is, life uh, is an individual. At the time that fetus can't exist as an individual, it is part of another individual, and that individual has the right to terminate it at that point. As soon as it's able to survive by whatever means possible, medicine or whatever, then that fetus becomes an individual. There doesn't seem to be any basis from history or in the past that you draw from. You just draw from certain parts of, of the country, certain mm -hmm. communities, all different communities have different pagan worships, mm -hmm. and just draw your little bits and make, it to make the best element of paganism. Is that what you're trying to do? We're trying to form uh, a religious feeling that is valid for a group. My group is different to the group next door or the group up the road. All that I'm interested in doing is group building a valid faith for my group and the people that work with me. Don't you see that on the question? I'm sorry, but I mean, I, I know I keep going back to it, but it seems so sort of safe and convenient to just sort of create a feeling for a group. I mean, surely religion and belief and, and sort of believing in something is far more passionate than just sort of creating a feeling. No, we all believe in it. Um, we all believe passionately in it.